Wix gallery tutorial. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add custom images to your Wix website. So let's get into it. First off, you're going to go on Wix.com and you're going to log into your account. It's very easy. You don't need anything special. If you have an email account, you can easily sign up and create your Wix account. After that, this is going to be your basic dashboard. And I'm just going to click on create new site over here. And this is going to open up a new tab where Wix is going to ask you what kind of website you're creating. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm I'm going to end up choosing a empty template anyways but you can go with a art portfolio or whatever kind of website that you're looking to create you can search for a template accordingly you can even search for a simple gallery template as well so if you just search for gallery like this so you can see gallery exhibition art gallery blog art gallery modern art, art gallery sculpture gallery stained glass gallery anything like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go for a gallery exhibition and i'm going to click on next now after that we is going to ask you if you want the ADI to create the website for you or if you want to create the website with the editor. If you want to save some time, you can use the ADI, but we're looking to add a custom image box in this video. So we're going to click on edit a template. Now, after that, you can see there are a bunch of templates that you can work with and all of them are pretty great, but you can browse through and use one of these. And I would highly recommend that you use one of these templates, but I'm going to click on blank templates over here. And if you want full control over your website you can definitely start with the blank template and i'm just going to click on start from scratch and i'm going to edit that so it's going to be a basic empty layout on wix i'm going to have nothing on this website or web page it's going to be a total blank canvas for me to edit so it's just going to take a few seconds to load out this little template now once your template has been loaded you can see on the left you have your toolbar where you can change and add stuff and on the top you have your basic tools now first off you have your header then you have your page and then you have your footer. These are the three basic components of any page. And the first page that you're going to create is going to be your home page. For this page, I would suggest that you click on menus and pages over here. You click on add on the top. You're going to add a basic welcome strip. So what I like to do is I like to keep it simple and I just go into the strip section and I just scroll down until I find something that is good enough or you can even search and search for a welcome. So you can search for a welcome strip and you can see there are quite a few little different boxes you can start off with now this just depends on your personal preference on what you're wanting to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it simple and classy and i'm just going to click on add i'm going to add my own text i'm going to add a heading i'm going to obviously change the text into whatever your gallery name might be so jane's gallery art gallery and i'm going to resize my box like this i'm going to place it on the top and you can attach this to the header it's obviously going to attach the header automatically as well even if you don't but you can attach this so it doesn't move away from the header and then you can edit the text obviously you can change the color and all that and for this purpose i'm going to keep it a pink website because i really like pink if you guys don't know that already but i'm going to make this pink text god why didn't it change into pink and after that you can change the header design as well so you're just going to click on change header design like this and then you can design your header obviously you can add more colors to the header as well so let's just say we want our header to be black with the lines this actually looks very decent but i'm going to just click on customize design and i want this to be a background of black like this and what you're going to do is you're going to add a hyperlink to this basic logo so how you do that is you just click on edit text like this is a basic website text or logo whatever you have placed over here you're going to click on edit text and you're going to click on this link and the link is going to be the web, web address of your website so you're going to do that later on once you publish your website and you're going to add that later to your uh, little logo or whatever web design you have for the or whatever web name you have for your website now moving on to the crux of this video which is how do you add the custom image gallery it's very simple you just click on add over here you're going to click on image and you're going to click over here so moving on to the gist of this video how do you add your custom images on wix and how do you create your art gallery well for that you're going to click on add apps over here on the left and then you're going to search in apps you're going to search for wix pro gallery and you can see over here you can showcase photos in wix pro gallery you're going to add this to your site and it's available for free so you don't need to worry this isn't any 
paid feature by Wix. This is a free application you can use on Wix. And once you have added that, now you can see over here, you can display your images in quite a beautiful manner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage media. I'm going to remove these template images. I'm going to add my own little stuff. So I'm just going to add a new page to show you guys how the Wix Pro Gallery works. So I'm going to click on manage pages. I'm just going to open up my new page. So I'm going to open up my Wix Pro Gallery over here and you can see this is going to open up this basic little huge template but you can just delete this like so and click on add over here. Scroll down into images. You're going to be able to see Wix Pro Gallery somewhere around here but if you can't you can just search for Wix Pro Gallery over here. So you can see you can open this up. I'm going to click on open. Now you can see once you have installed your Wix Pro editor if you add any image like I just added this stock image from Wix images and you can see over here you have a lot more options than you would normally have and if you click on settings over here you can adjust a lot of things now if you click on adjust you're going to have this photo studio app pop up and you can see there are so many things you can do so you can change basically anything for this image any of the highlight shades all of that and after that you can even add a overlay on top of the image so if you click on settings over here this link can open up a pop-up it can be magnified or a link opens or it, nothing can happen Happen with the image or you can even add image text you can tell google what's in this image so if people search for something related this image might pop up and you can resize the image as well you can keep a, a proportion for the image without having it distorted so if even if you resize it nothing is distorted this is primarily the function of the wix all of these functions are only provided with the wix gallery pro editor now if you were to open it up directly it does pop up with a lot of things and i do find it a bit irritating and difficult to use in that situation but we, you win some you lose some and, and now with the pro gallery editor not only can you add these basic images and edit them if you click on add over here and if you click and if you scroll down so you're not going to add your images directly but instead you're just going to look for gallery just look where it says gallery or if you can't find gallery you can just search it over here but go into gallery and you can see you have pro galleries you have grid galleries you have slider galleries and more galleries you can add all of these different galleries and it's, you just have to open up a template so let's just say i want to add this kind of slider sphere all i need to do is i open this up i'm going to resize it to fit my website i can place it in the center like so or i can resize it again to make sure all of my little stuff fits place it in the center and then obviously i'm going to just click on change images once i select my pro gallery editor template so this is what the pro gallery editor is going to provide me with this basic template and i'm just going to click on change images and then i am going to add my own custom images you just click on add images and you can upload media directly over here and start changing it so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own image gallery using wix make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video